hello guys in this video we're going to talk how we can solve the error git origin already exist so in, we are going to show you how you can solve this error on github so for example if you want to upload the repository once again in your github so how you can upload in this video we are going to show it so first of all go to github i am going to my github account sorry so this is my github account now i am going to download a repository from mine okay here are my repositories for example i want to download a repository for example i want to download this mildiv okay so download you can download this in two way you can download it by click download zip or also you can download by copying this link so i copied this link and then go to cmd then go to the path where i will put this repository so i have a folder in c drive called projects so i am going to clone it here so for that you need to write git space clone space the link you copied so my git repository is cloning so the repository has been cloned successfully now i am going to that path mail db okay now i am in the mail db repository path on my c drive now i am going to upload this on github so so for that i am going to create a new repository on my github so i am going to write this name as mil mil database repo okay you can write whatever you want so i am going i make it public and click create repository okay so you need to put this command on cmd so first command is git init second command is git add dot i'm not going to do this because it will create a readme dot file readme dot md file so i just skip it by git space add space dot then i need to put this this command on my cmd so i am going to I, I copied this and paste this okay enter so as you can see there is error which is remote origin already exists which means your repository is already uploaded in your github previously so you cannot upload this so so if you want to upload this repository once again um so we, we we are going to show you how you can upload this repository once again in your github so for that you need to write a command so the command is i'm going to zoom it so the command is git remote set url set hyphen url so in this in this command you will create you are you are creating a new remote remote in your github so, th so then it will upload so you need to put the origin also so git space remote space set hyphen url space the origin which i copied from here okay so this is it now i'm going to click enter okay new origin has been created now i'm going to give the last command so as you can see the, the data has been uploaded in github i'm going to refresh this phase so as you can see this is the file so if you don't trust this then then i'm going to going to show my all repositories again this is the repositories uh, which i uploaded 19 seconds ago and the, the previous repository is this one which i uploaded on december 4 to, to 2021 okay i'm going to show you some difference so here you can see here you can see there is no comment 
do no comment on the first line okay the first line is constant button document dash 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 okay i'm going to uh, open it on my visual code visual studio code okay click file open folder okay this one is the, the repository so i opened it so now i am going to edit in index.js file i am i am giving some comments here so for example set remote newly newly set remote newly on my github repository okay this is the uh, added code we are we are we write on the code now we are, we are going to push it on github so so if you want to push again the code the, there you should give three commands so first command is git space add space dot then you need to give the another command is git space commit hyphen m so so you can you can write which which uh, which change you do on your code so we changed we set a comment set a comment on index dot js file okay you can write whatever you want okay and the last comment is git push okay it is taking some time it's completed now we are going to show it on our github so if you if you if this is the this is the repository we uploaded on december 4 2020 now today's date is 24 august okay now we're gonna reload this as you can see the commented line of code is not here so we are going to open the, the repo which we created few minutes ago okay repositories the index.js file there it is this is the line of code that we write it on few two minutes ago so that's it i hope you will solve this problem in this way so i hope you like this video make sure like and subscribe my channel